Our new mesh model has finished, generated from the depth maps. You see right here, it was put down below. So it actually kept both of those models like we said. And so right now, this one that is not italicized is your active model. Okay. And although it has colors, we still need to finish that last step of putting a nice, a nice texture on it, making it look a little more realistic. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick before we compare the two models. So just build texture and make sure you have the same settings as before. Diffuse map, images, generic mosaic, keep that texture size. We're going ahead and press OK and let that run. And so this is going to, again, give us a second model, completely textured. Um, we are kind of comparing similar qualities, you know, different face counts, but you'll be able to maybe see or, or maybe not see, well, I guess we will see, uh, if there's any kind of significant differences between them. Um, but you can also, I'll show you kind of how to look and see, you can see down here how much time it took to build the model. So for smaller models, that difference between time may not be as big, but for larger models, it's going to be huge. Models that may take already six, seven, eight, or more hours to build you know, the dense cloud, and then you're gonna build a mesh model on top of that. That could take a day or two building from the dense cloud, and that could be reduced a lot down to a few hours or more from the depth maps. So we're going to let this finish Looks like it has about a minute or so to go, and then we'll compare between them.